Hi guys, welcome back to the Totally Magic channel and another mighty fine card trick for you. Using just a regular deck of cards, you're gonna ask a spectator to shuffle those and they give these a thorough shuffling. You see, I'm gonna get you to choose a card from the shuffled deck. So if I show you these, you can see that you've pretty much mixed them up very well, but I don't want you to see the faces. So I'm gonna spread these, and I want you just to slide out any card you like. Remember, you shuffled them, so pick any way you like. Now the spectator can slide out any card, but you tell them not to look at the card just yet. You see, you could have picked a card from the middle, from the top, but you chose one near the bottom, maybe for a particular reason. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna get you to look at this card, but some people accuse magicians of looking at the reflection in your eye as you peek at that card. So when I hold this up, I'm gonna look the other way just to be sure that I don't see that. So are you ready? I'll look away. Just remember that card that you can see. Yeah, remember that card. Have you got it? You see, I'm gonna put your card in the middle to lose it. And we'll even give the cards a quick shuffle just to make sure that it really is lost. And we'll even give another little fancy shuffle like that. You see, I'm gonna read your mind. I know that you've picked one of these cards, but I'm, do you know what? I'm not quite sure which one you've gone for. So I'm gonna pick out a few that I'm picking up some vibes of what you've actually picked, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I've got a feeling your card is one of these. Now, let me just show you what we've actually got. Um, the diamond, I, I had a feeling. Now, whatever happens, do not tell me what your card is. Don't blink point or make any indication to say if I'm right or wrong but I don't know just by looking at you I've got a feeling that your card was a diamond okay um, maybe the nine of diamonds the six of diamonds the eight or even the seven I don't know just seemed that it could be one of these cards now we've got the four cards i'm going to try and narrow this down one by one okay so taking these cards one two three and four i'm going to go through now i don't know which one you would have gone for exactly but i know i'm getting a feeling that it definitely wasn't that one out of these now, mainly because it's a low card, I don't think you're the sort of person that picks a low value. But then again, I don't feel that you would be a person that picks an odd card, uh, something like that. Now that leaves me with uh, an eight and a nine. Now, yeah, I don't think it's that. I believe that I've managed to locate your card. You see, I don't think you would have gone for an eight, a seven, or the six. I think the nine. Now, tell me one thing. The value. Was it a nine? It was. There you go. I picked, I, I got it wrong. But was it a red card? It wasn't. What was your card? The nine of clubs? Well, as a magician, we just do something like this. And the nine of diamonds changes to the nine of clubs. Practice and enjoy. Here's the tutorial for this very simple card trick. Now, I know I talk about doing simple and easy card tricks, and that's because most of the time, they're the ones that fool the audience more than ones that involve very complex sleight of hand because 
sometimes a sleight of hand takes away from the final effect. People can see you holding cards a certain way, cutting them a certain way, and it kind of gives the game away that it's not real magic that they're manipulating the cards. With something like this, there is no real moves, so to speak. It is a regular deck, so you can do this impromptu. And at the start, when you get them to shuffle the cards, that is a genuine shuffle. Now, this is how it works. They shuffle the cards. You take the cards back and you spread them face up to say, now, I'm going to get you to choose a card, but I don't want you to pick one as you see it. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm making a note a mental note of the card at the end here, which is the six of clubs. Okay, now I gather the cards up, turn them over and spread them like this and get them to slide out, but not look at a card. So they take any card out. You talk about they could have picked one from here or here. You gather this up. Now, this card here is the six of clubs. You know that. I push the card across. I'm going to get a break under here because I'm going to pick their card up and I just clip it with my thumb like this. And I say to them, in a moment, I'm going to show you the card that you picked from your shuffle deck. And as I'm talking, I do this move. I'm going to square this up with this card like that and push it forward. Look how quickly that is. But of course, I know this is video, but in the real world, you're looking at them while you're talking about, I'm gonna show you your card. They're busy looking up here, not looking down here. So it goes unnoticed. You say you're gonna look away. You've now got two cards. You pick both of those up and you just show them the card. So they're now gonna think of that card. Basically, you force that card onto them in a roundabout way. You put it back down and you say, I'm gonna lose that. Now, of course, we're losing the card they really did pick, but put that in there. You can then shuffle the cards if you want, uh, as long as you keep this on top, so you know its position, okay? You could keep it on the bottom, it doesn't really matter, because we know what the card is. But we need to control it to the top, okay? You then turn the cards up and whatever card they've picked, you want to pick three other cards. Well, you're going to pick four cards that include their card. Now, that's the six of clubs. So what I would do is pick the opposing color. So it's a totally different contrast. So I might go for, let's say, the hearts. So I might go for the eight of hearts the seven, and we're looking for the six of hearts and the five of hearts. So these are the four cards. It doesn't matter what the cards are. It can be any array of cards as long as one of the values matches theirs, which is the six of clubs. So there it is there, but it doesn't matter. So I get these cards. Once I've put these down like this, I take the cards. I'm gonna get a break because I'm gonna steal this in a moment. Get a break under that. You turn the cards over and just in a sloppy way, drop them on top and pick them up again. But what you've actually done, you've stolen away that six there. You square them up and then you just go through them to show individually each card and you turn it face down and put it to the bottom. Okay, this is a great move for hiding that extra card. So you say it could have been the five of hearts, the six, the seven and the eight. And you just put these under there. You can then just show four cards, one, two, three, four. You've got two cards as one there, just to convince them. I've got four cards. I'm pretty sure one of them, but whatever you do, don't mention your card, or if I get it right or wrong. You can flip the cards over, and what you're gonna do is bring them up to your face, because what you wanna do 
is to get the value that matches their card, okay? In this case, the six to the back and then any other card, okay? So in reality, I do this, I say, do you know what, I'm not sure. Could be this one, actually, yeah, I don't think. And you're pushing these cards like this, handling them as four, you're then gonna put two cards as one. No, I've got two cards here. There is their card here. As you put this down as one, you can then say, I didn't think you'd be the obvious and pick the higher value. You can make up any kind of pattern you like for this. So um, I, I didn't think you'd go for this one. You've got rid of the duplicate six there. So we get rid of that. You've got three cards here. They think everything is normal. Then you start to remove these and then you say, I don't think you go for this one. Put that down and then just momentarily let them glimpse it. That leaves me with two cards, the five and the six. You're gonna get rid of this, drop this down and drop this, you say. And then I like to just convince them once more. You see, I didn't think it'd be the five, the seven or the eight. I thought you would go for the six. Now they believe that to be the six of hearts because they've seen it throughout at the start and even while you was holding them. So why wouldn't it be? You tell them, did you get the value right? They're gonna agree with you. It was that value. But then they tell you you got the suit wrong. They tell you, you do some magical pass and there it is and it changes right before their eyes. You can even get them to hold it and do some flick or something and it changes in their hand, which is even a, a better effect. I said it was simple, easy to perform and impromptu. Hope you enjoyed that. Till next time, take care.